A gene is a stretch of chemicals located on a strand of DNA. Groups of genes make up chromosomes, and humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Of each pair, one chromosome comes from the father and one from the mother. These genes, your actual genetic material, is called a genotype. Each gene contains information relating to physical and non-physical characteristics, such as hair colour and personality. These observable characteristics are called a phenotype. For example, the gene for brown hair is part of the genotype, however the observable characteristic of brown hair is the phenotype. One of the main differences between genotype and phenotype is that genotype cannot generally be changed. However, the environment can impact a phenotype. This means that while you may have the gene that makes you more likely to put on weight, your diet and activity levels can impact the phenotype. Similarly, you may have a gene that causes brown hair. However, the influence of the environment may cause it to appear more blonde in the summer when the sun lightens it, therefore changing the phenotype. The combination of genes and environment influencing a person's phenotype is called interactionism. It's the idea that your genotype interacts with the environment resulting in your phenotype, therefore your observable characteristics. One specific gene that has impact on behaviour is the SRY gene. This stands for the sex-determining region of the Y gene. You might remember from school that females have two X chromosomes and males have an X and a Y chromosome. The SRY gene is part of the Y chromosome that triggers the development of male characteristics. This includes primary characteristics such as the development of male sex organs and testosterone production. This influences secondary characteristics that kick in during puberty such as facial hair, sperm production and a lower voice. This gene therefore influences behaviour as it makes a person genetically male and therefore influenced by other factors that are associated with being male such as male sex hormones. The SRY gene can therefore be used to explain aspects of gendered behaviour. Genetics can also be used to explain aggression, as the MAOA gene, also known as the warrior gene, has been identified as having potential links to aggression. Understanding genotype and phenotype supports the idea of interactionism, showing that it is not just genetics that impacts a person's phenotype, but also the environment. For example, not everyone who has the MAOA gene is aggressive, therefore suggesting that the environmental factors impact the phenotype of these genes. There are, however, weaknesses of using genetics to explain behaviour, as some research oversimplifies the influence of genes. For example, no behaviour is caused by one specific gene. This therefore exaggerates the role of genes. 